what you did, Zeb. I'm breaking stuff today. That's two things. <laughs> fall morning it feels a little bit earlier than it actually is because we haven't done the time change for like the next when is the time change it's, i think it's in november, november sometime this year i don't know yeah, they, so they like, move it on me and i'm not used to it because even though we've lived here 15 <laughs> years i grew up in arizona where no time time change ever happens so I, it still throws me off so for like the next month it just feels earlier than it actually is um primary thing we're trying to do today buy things that don't need painted we're headed to england in two days and so we don't really have time in the next few weeks to really be painting a whole lot so say that with me we're not buying things that need painted i'm gonna try real hard but if i see good stuff i'm still gonna get it we'll see what happens we're headed to the saratoga springs thrift store we haven't been here for at least what like three weeks yeah, maybe four. Yeah. Um, the last few times we've been late, and this thrift store, if you're not there on time, there's people lining up, and you might as well not go in for a while until they reload. There's some professional thrifters here that make us look like we don't even know what we're doing. So we'll <laughs> see what happens this morning. All right, I'm headed to the floor. We got some speed walkers already. Zeb's going to the yard. Hurry, Zeb, hurry. Get there. All right, first thing cast iron with some witch hair attached to it. Four dollars, that's pretty. I'm gonna quickly breeze over the dishes. I don't see anything. I can't live without, and I actually have a lot of dishes at the house. So let's see. Oh, look, let's go look at the greenery because it looks like there's some good stuff. A cute little wreath. And just take a quick peek. See if there's anything. That one's not my favorite. I think that wreath is gonna be it for me. I'm gonna get these. These are awesome. They just need something to set them on. Five dollars. Four dollars. This is actually cute for spring. $3, that's a little much for that. I love little dishes like this because they're cute with plants in them. Cobalt blue enamel teapot. So cute, two bucks and it also says $1.50. So I'll ask them which price is right. This isn't, this isn't super fancy, but could be pretty for the holidays for only $2. It'd be cute for display too. So I think I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna follow my own rule and put them in the cart so that I'm not sad even if I decide not to get them. Cause I do, I'm on the fence. They could be really cool. Oh look, a cheese slicer. Eliza's been wanting one of these. Maybe I should pick this up for her. Actually, I like this one. I don't know. I think, I feel like we have a cheese slicer at home. I can't remember. Also, this probably needs painted and is going to break Jamie's no paint rule, but it's like nesting. Make some $5 each. We do need more peelers because we got carrots to peel, so I'm going to grab this one. Okay, let's look through the Christmas stuff. See if there's anything that I want. This bucket is actually just really cute. It's three bucks. It'll look good in my display. Oh, brass, heck yes, those are cute. Round floral, they must have been for floral arrangements, but I love them. <laughs> it's a clock with a bird on it for $1.50, I have to get it. <laughs> it's cast iron bird. I'm tempted to get this shelf, but it's $10. The hardware is why I would be getting it. The wood on top, that's nothing special. But this cast iron hardware, I just, they're not worth it for $5 a piece. Oh, look, it's a matching tray to the one I got. Three bucks. This is a fun little egg basket. Like if you only have a couple of backyard chickens, that's cute. Ceiling tin shelf for $3. 
So this is cute. A little coat rack. I'm going to pick that up for sure. Oh, look at that teapot. Looks like it needs a new paint finish maybe. And I said I was going to, oh, $5. That's a little much for a chipped up teapot. Otherwise, I'd probably buy it. This would definitely need painted. Uh, but it's $20 for this little jewelry box. It looks like it's in good shape and the felt's in good condition. But for tw I'm a buyer at like $8. That's interesting. French. I like the edge on it, but I wish that the plate wasn't so scratched up. I'm going to pass on this plate. I do really love this frame. Two dollars. That's cute. This is hiding over here in the lamps. I thought it was a lamp, but it's not. And it looks like that metal part is just painted wood. The middle marble or whatever there. This is a cute little sheep. Uh, I think a dollar is a little much for a plastic sheep, but it is cute. Mm. Three dollars is definitely way too much for that little bird, but if it was springtime, maybe. Check out this little pewter ballerina statue. Dollar. Right, so I do like this because it comes with a little nest. I'm always looking for birds and nests. This is a fun little chicken. It doesn't really look like it has any chips either. So I'll have to paint that. Listen, Jamie, I know it's all going to be painted, but it's got little feet. It's three dogs. Do you see that man over there with the giant candlesticks? I feel like he might belong to me. Like, what the actual heck? I'm just going to walk away from his cart. I'll address that situation later. Looks like he might have some fun stuff. Well, that's fun. Oh, Five dollars. So cute. This is a really cool little picture easel. I think this frame's a little bulky for it. Yes. Oh, it doesn't sit level. Why doesn't it sit level? Maybe we'll flip it around and do it like that. No. No, that's not going to work. This is really cute, but it's $20. $10 maybe. $20 is way too much. I'm going to have to pass it. All right, I'm just hoping this isn't more than $5 because I love this bench. <gasps> it's eight. <sighs> I still think for eight dollars, that's a good deal. These benches always look so cute in the shop, and they sell well. I'm debating on the elephant and this rooster. I like the rooster just as is. Dollar fifty. That's gonna come. And check out this cow I found. It's just a shelf sitter cow. Dollar. So I'm in the glass section. And I see these beautiful, like, I don't know, what is this called? Embossed, etched. We've got little detail even in the bottom for a dollar each, and there's two. So I'm definitely going to pick these up. I do like these tall, it, tall glass. It's Italian, these like pasta jars, but it looks like it's broken. Like it's not. I'm going to pass on that. These look like they're from France. Oh, they're from World Market. They're still cute. I'm gonna grab these. Look what I almost passed up. We just sold one of these last week. This one's kind of fun. It's like a black, a little bit more contemporary look, but a cookbook holder. Well, I was unloading these because I decided not to get these big blow molds and my rooster took a dive. I'm gonna go buy it anyway, but I don't, I think I'm just gonna throw it away. This is pretty cute. It's only $5. I think I'm going to grab it, even though I said I didn't want to paint anything. These are way cute. Little measuring cups, and it's the complete set. Made in Austria. That's precious. Zeb, isn't this precious? It's gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> oh, look, a friend. I think it's the same one. It is... I like the price. Three bucks. Okay, so look what I found. Does anybody remember the last time I found one of these? I didn't know what it was. I was like, is this a Pamper Jeff bra? Apparently it is an egg cooker. The last one did sell, so I guess I'm going to have to pick this one up too. 
Look what you did, Zeb. I'm breaking stuff today. That's two <laughs> things. Here. So how many things did you break today, Zeb? Only two things. Only two. <laughs> I always like to tease him because he's broken a few of my favorite uh, crystal things he's before. He's got to stop having me wrap up the crystal. I never expect it to be that delicate, and it always is. And those are just glass. They weren't even crystal. Okay, so we spent how much on these two parts? 110 today. $110 today. And I think we need to hit up one more thrift store. Okay, are it's we going to quite... round it out, or are we going for the double thrift for two weekends? I think this is going to be this week's thrift haul, and then if we can get another good haul, we'll pre-record that for the second week while we're gone. We'll see what we find. We're about to embark on thrift store number two. This is Desert Industries and American Fork. I'm not hopeful that we're going to find anything here because it, they opened an hour ago. This store gets hit hard. Uh, yeah. If they're continuing to put out carts, or if the good thrifters didn't wake up this morning. We might be able to find enough for a second thrift haul <laughs> and then we can just film both, but we'll see what we find. Zeb says, let's see if we'll actually need two carts. I'm I don't hopeful. know. I'm Zeb's prepared. hopeful. <laughs> you gotta be hopeful. So I totally got distracted. This is like a mold set for an entire nativity and it's big. I don't know how much it is. I don't see a price on there. Someone used this for some math. Looks like they're doing okay. Two bucks. Little tote. Here's another cute little egg dispenser. I like this one better actually because black is more my style. I love trunks. This one's 20. Let's take a look inside. Maybe. Oh. Definitely old. Got its original lining, looks like. Leather handle's gone. Okay, so I think this thrift haul might have to be more of a painted one, which will be okay because we will be back from England just a couple days after this thrift haul goes up. So I'm gonna grab these candlesticks for sure and then i'm also thinking if these aren't priced too high i might get them because zeb oh four dollars i'm gonna pass because zeb like took the tops off of some the other day but not i'm not in the mood to have to deal with that i don't know if those are going to come off easier or not um, let's see what else is down here oh i like this anything cast iron it's always my favorite oh this isn't cast iron it's resin but it would be cute painted I do like this. I think it'd be good for a cookbook or like a really cool plate. So I'm gonna grab that. This is interesting. 1982. I'm gonna pass on that. This is cool. It's like a big pewter feather. Maybe it's aluminum. I don't know. It's really heavy. I'm gonna grab that. Kind of bohemian, kind of modern. I think somebody else scooped that up fast. Well, at least I found one thing. That's cool. Oh, two things. There's actually a set of molds out there that are like this tall for a whole nativity. Like molds the, like the to make? Molds. Oh, I don't know if I'm feeling that adventurous. Oh, look, these are like the ones I got a couple of weeks ago. I just took the glass off. I know, but I, I passed on them because they're four bucks each, and I, I don't know if I want to deal with that. What about this, though? Mercury oh, glass dish? yeah, we can grab that. I meant, I actually didn't mean to grab that. I grabbed these candlesticks in here. Yeah, leaded crystal is always good to pick up. We don't sell, like, they're not crazy fast sellers, but occasionally people come in and want them. Yeah, we can put them on the glass shelf in the black display. This is kind of fun. It's Pampered Chef. I haven't seen this style before, so I'm going to grab it. A couple of cute spongeware mugs. Made in China. I think I'm going to pass on them. I like them when they're a little bit older. I feel like this is missing some of its rings. But either way, it's cool. I'm going to get it. 75 cents. It's like a wood whisk beater stirrer situation. Don't let Zeb see the Reese's Pieces mugs. <laughs> we'll see if he grabs those. Probably not. I, I gave him a hard time last time. They're not bad. And we actually did sell a few. They're just not like... 
they don't fit the shop's vibe. So then I put them on the shelf and I just feel like they make everything else not go well together. Here's a cute little stoneware bean pot, four bucks. Looks to be in good shape. Some people have mentioned on some previous videos that Ray Dunn is uh, going out, but we still sell all the Ray Dunn we pick up at the thrift store. All right, I don't know who had all these Reese's mugs, but look, more Reese's mugs. We found them at like four different thrift stores now. <laughs> they must have got donated somewhere and all mixed up. A French English dictionary. We're not going to France this time. It could come in handy. Four bucks is a lot. David McKay Company. Preface here. I think I'm going to pass on that. If it was like two bucks, maybe four bucks seems a lot. So I'm looking at this almost as like a personal challenge. It's cast iron. Can I bring it back? It's been used a lot. Looks like someone's cooked in it quite a bit, but rusty all over. I've done it before, but this one's pretty, pretty rusty. This is really pretty. And I like this basket. I'm gonna pick this up. I think I'm gonna grab this just because Christmas card season is coming and it's fun to display them. We used to sell something really similar at the shop for like $9.95. It's a dollar fifty, so I'm gonna grab it. It's cute. So this is only five dollars, and this is like one of the more fun birdhouses that I found. I'm gonna grab this for sure. That might be the fattest Webster's dictionary I've ever seen. This is actually really cute. I think it'd be cute to decorate the shop with or just put outside. $5, I'm gonna take it home. Naturally, I found all the things that need painted in the whole store. And I found a few, it's fine. We thought we were gonna maybe do two thrift hauls, split them up, but really it's just enough for one. So we will pre-record the thrift haul for this Saturday. And then next Saturday, maybe we'll do something from England. We'll let you guys know what's coming depending on what we find. Stay tuned for a slow-mo of everything that we purchased. I think even uh, if we, I mean, depending on what we find or not, we probably will still have a bunch of videos from England while we're over there. We'll see. It's going to be good. If you guys want to shop along Saturday, 830 Mountain Time, everything goes live on our website. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vintage for more. DIY. We'll see you on the next one. you